Well, the GA is Round the Square. It's an online GA magazine show which comes direct from Crow Park. We have it on GA.ie on a weekly basis every Thursday. And what we're trying to do is basically engage with all our members and our supporters. Weekly views, super scores. But we also talk to some players and show the lighter side of the GA as well. So um, it's very important that we get our own message across and that's what we're trying to do around the square. And we, it's a fantastic package it's for 10 minutes every week and with a huge success that last year and we hope to build on this in 2011. This year we have two new faces. We're delighted to announce that we have Ollie Canning from Galway and we have Anthony Rainbow from Kildare and they're going to give their insight on the championship, how it's going, their views and also um, I'm sure they'll be making some calls on the game ahead. So it's great to have them on board. They're um, just both newly retired so they're fresh faces and I think they'll be a terrific addition. You know, being outside the setup, obviously, I, I'm not 100% clued in as, as you know how the form is inside in training. But you know, the guys, I know, felt you know they felt good coming coming up to the game. You know, they had they had done the work. They were training hard, and you know there was no um, there was no there was no issues there. But you know, I mean. To lose a game against Dublin, I mean, there doesn't have to be issues there either, you know. Things can go very well in training and all the rest, and just on the day, it just doesn't happen for them, and, and that was the way it went. A number of Galway players the last day, you know, just couldn't get their hand on the ball, and, and you know, huge improvements required everywhere really around the team, but I'm confident that they, that they have the way with all, you know, to get a good performance out of themselves in, in a little under two weeks' time against Clare, and hopefully they can, they can get back on track, and, you know, if they get a win under their belt there, you know what I mean? Maybe people won't forget fully about Tullamore, but it'll definitely be you know pushed to the back of your mind. If you look back at the Leinster final two years ago, it was probably one of the best games of the year that year, and hopefully this Sunday will replicate that game. Um, we have two very physical, strong sides coming out this Sunday in Dublin and Kildare. Um, it's going to be very, very close. Kildare probably are at a crossroads at the moment, I suppose, within the team. They've been in the last two... Uh, the last three quarterfinals and last year's all earned semi final, you know. And it's probably Kildare's time to beat a big team, you know. We were beaten by Cork back three years ago in the quarter final, Tyrone the following year, and then down last year in the semi final. So it's Kildare's time to beat a big team this year. I think they're well capable of doing it. They're very, very strong, very fit. If Johnny Dyle playing some excellent football at midfield, you know. And this Kildare team has the potential to beat anybody in Ireland. Round the Square is on Facebook, so we'd like everybody to follow us on that. We're also on Twitter, official GAA, so it's another way we, we have of getting our message out. Um, we know that you know, a lot of our supporters are of a younger category, so and that's all how they communicate at the moment. So we're also embracing that whole area of technology. 